together in one place. The whole point of the thing is community. As you can see, we're not ha having cars here that are being up for sale or anything. It's all just to gather all the people who love Porsche and own Porsche all together in one space from every generation throughout Porsche. This brings, brings me to the next segment, which is a very special segment for the community. And uh, we have our guests who flew direct, especially for this event. So to tell us more about the community of Porsche, I'd like to welcome to stage Mr. Paul Greger, who's the Global Community Manager. And we're also going to have one of the presidents of the Porsche Clubs from Kuwait, Mr. Zakaria Dashti. So please welcome Mr. Zakaria and Paul to the stage. Thank you, Abdel. Thanks for having me on the stage. It's an honor to be in this event and to be in the presence of Big Boss. So, uh, could you guys share with us your uh, journey with the Porsche community and around the world and what you have seen from, since the, basically the beginning of the community of Porsche? I think it's, it's quite an interesting story to begin with because the clubs have been with Porsche since day one, They're very, very early. So the first club was founded in 1952, which is almost 70 years ago. And I think back in the beginning, it was people looking for a community, looking for information about Porsche, about the cars, how to fix it, to get parts. And it quickly grew into a very, very lively community of like-minded enthusiasts. Incredible. And uh, Zafiri, can you tell us about your journey with your community that you've started in? I think uh, that Porsche clubs have always been there. Uh, if I can, uh, and uh, if I can, you know, as far as I can remember, I've seen the club, or at least I've seen the idea of the club is there. Although it wasn't officially registered, or, but it was there. I remember, and uh, Mr. Mustafa uh, Mursid uh, always tells me that, you know, Guys who own Porsche have something special. <laughs> have something, have something special. They're always gathering. They're always, uh, you know, together. And this is this is the idea of the whole of the whole club. Our club, our club. We were lucky to be uh, uh, the club number two hundred and twelve in the region. Uh, our uh, our anniversary. Our the club was founded on the eighteenth of November. So just uh, okay, during this uh, weekend, two actually. Ago. Days ago. So that's why we're really happy uh, to be part of this event. The uh, club was founded uh, by a group of enthusiasts. Uh, we all love the brand um, uh, and I'm, I'm really happy that uh, Mr. Yusuf Fityani over there uh, also was one of the founders. He's here. Uh, of course, Mr. Mustafa Mohsin, all the guys with me are still, we're still, we're still here. We're still involved in the club heavily. And uh, we see the club grow with every single event. With every single event, we're, we're having, you know, we, people are still getting to know the idea of the club. So if we need, I'm, I'm sure we need more awareness. We need more of this, uh, obviously. The cool thing is, I think, that you're part of a larger community. So if you look at it worldwide, there are about 235,000 members around the world right now and over 700 clubs. So it is a growing community around the world that share this passion, this enthusiasm. I think it's a great place to meet and with like-minded people and then share this experience. I think also these cars that are here today, it's phenomenal, the cars that are in the population of love. And in reality, if we look at these cars, we're the caretakers of these cars. We take care of the passion and we take care of these cars and the cars go on. So I think this is a big part of what makes the community so special, that these people find each other around the world. You're very soon in what you do here. I think you have 17 clubs in the region now with over 3,000 members. So, you know, you were founded, the first one was founded in 1970 in South Africa, I believe. And you came in in 2003, 2004, so you've grown very well. So I think it's a testament to, you know, the clubs themselves and these communities, that the way they grow, and that they, they find themselves like-minded people. Because there's something very unique about Porsche. Porsche people find each other. Exactly, and I think it's the fact that the, uh, the first Porsche, as we uh, uh, mentioned yesterday with Mr. Mustafa, 19, 1956, the first Porsche entered the region, the Gulf region, by uh, the late uh, Gavlat Hissol, Mr. Murad Bamrani, who brought in that uh, lovely Thank you, man. VA car. Uh, it, it was the spark of, of, of a love to the brand and uh, to the uh, 911, it's definitely one of the most uh, favorite uh, sports cars in the region and you know, Abdallah knows that and the guys knows that and uh, you know, it's 
and you can see this, you can see these amazing cars, like some cars that you might not see in the, uh, in the museum, but you can only see them in, uh, in gatherings like this. That's, that's the power of the, uh, of the community, that's the power of the community that you have. And with every single event, the best scene I see is that when two people meet each other, you definitely have, we see this on every single event. You see them, oh, you know, where have you been? And you see them, they reconnect again, and they seem to see us exchanging information. And I think, I believe that knowledge is, is priceless. And the knowledge is the most valuable thing that you can give to, uh, to others. When you see someone is stuck with that info, he just need that info to, uh, to know more or not solve a problem, and then he just get it like this. But, but I think we're all part of the story, and I think there's no other brand on this planet that where every car has a story, and then you find out who is the past owner, yeah. where is this car being? So I think for, for Porsche, for PME to, yeah. to put on this event here and bring these people together, it's fantastic to start this kind of a culture. Um, and this kind of event hopefully okay. will continue. It's very think, important uh, to share these stories. Just, I'm sorry, Abdel. Uh, we, we noticed this on the track day that we had that lovely uh, GT3 RS. I mean, Abdel Razak here just posted a photo of it, telling, asking the guys, guys, this car used to be in Kuwait. Do you know any info about it? The owner doesn't have the have zero info about it. And within what? Three, three minutes. minutes. Three minutes. Three minutes. Full history. Oh, you saw uh, this. It's my friends. It's and then that's a, it's powerful. It's power of it's community. Powerful. Powerful. Yeah. Definitely. I think community is uh, also is a big deal when it comes to when you said socializing. When both two members or two owners, they socialize at the community and it also adds, uh, makes room basically for people who are interested in the brand to learn more because every owner has a story that they would love to tell. And I've been going around since yesterday looking at very interesting cars, especially next to the icons of the region or to talk about the cars and every car has a story and the stories are, are beautiful and they always put that seed in someone's mind and heart. Maybe in the future they would actually join that community and become a part of it so it can grow bigger and bigger. Um, you mentioned that actually you had, a, in terms of the, the celebration for your anniversary for the club, and you actually had that you, on the 18th when you had a track event actually in the Dubai Autodrome. Uh, track event was a big thanks to everybody in Dubai uh, uh, Autodrome. They were super supportive to have us. They did. There were two other events running at the same time, but they are they still. You know, they were keen enough to host us, and I'd like to thank them so much. And I'd like to thank our biggest supporter, which is the uh, Porsche, uh, Porsche Center Kuwait, Babahani Motors Company, who've been supporting us from day one. And our success, of course, uh, if, if, if they were the, the main reason of the success, then they still are the main reason of success of the club. The, this uh, uh, this homologation, let's say, between the club and and the dealership is the secret to the uh, to the success of of the uh, of uh, of the club. That track day was amazing. Yeah. We we when we booked it and then we made sure we tried as much as as we can. And I'm very sorry if others didn't know about it, but we reached out to all the clubs in the region. Anybody with a Porsche, anybody who have the passion, he can come and join us. Some other guys didn't want to be on the truck, but they just want to be in the gathering, and that was amazing. I think, I think the, the, the slogan is that it's not just the cars, it's the people. That makes the big difference. So I think looking forward next time we do this event, we'll plan a little bit earlier, we'll bring more people out to get more people to join us. Much, much bigger. Yeah, definitely it's something as well, because you had your anniversary just uh, two days ago. Uh, next year is what I think is going to be the 70th anniversary for Global Communities in Porsche. So can you tell us what the plans are? Well, basically 70 years of clubs is a huge milestone for the communities. They started very small and as I said before, they're now in over 86 countries with 235,000 members. So there will be a series of activities. We're working together with the museum, with the archives, with motorsports to collect information, provide this information to the clubs so they can use it for their own activities and bring it there. And we will look at supporting regional events like this and then putting a theme over them of 70 years of history and focusing on it. Because I think it's very important if you know where you're, where you come from to know where you're going. It's, it's really important.
heritage is a big part of this brand. Um, so, with more communities, we see more people are more interested. We have smaller communities as well. So, what would you say, like, what? How can any car club or a Porsche club can become a part of Porsche officially? I think we, we're fairly well covered. I mean, there are needs for some new clubs and new areas and regions. I think the, the, the key thing is, and, and Zachary knows this very well, is that you know, they're a non-profit organization. They set themselves up with a set of statutes and a board. But it, it's, it's not that difficult to fit into the structure. And there are clubs around that have been here for a long time that are very good to help and support if you want to develop it. So with, with um, PME here in the region, we have local contact people that we can get contact with them. We support them where we can, and we work together with them developing their own club, their own cultures in the area. Definitely awesome. And uh, what would you say for the next person who's going to build the car community or the current communities in the in the region? Because the Middle East has, uh, well, you can see as yesterday we had one of the biggest attendants in the region for uh, Porsche communities all at one place, uh, and it's continuously growing. Every year it's going to be even bigger and bigger. Especially that we came back from a big drop of social. Social life, basically, the car community and the car activities have actually brought us back all together. Um, how do you say we can grow this even bigger on top than this kid? I think in general that you know, the communities itself, as I said before, there's the heritage of the cars and the, the older they get, the more stories there are. And I think we as people have a need to re-interact. I think especially after these strange COVID times, I think there's a huge need for people to get out and interact again. And if we can do this through the cars and the stories of the cars, this is one way of doing it. Um, I think looking forward, these histories just grow. So I think there's the opportunity for people to want to get involved, get their cars out and meet the like-minded people do things. Not only driving things, there's other things now with the rise of social media and other activities, there's many things that can be done, but creativity has no bounds. But so I think in general, just to build a community, as I said before, it's, it's, it is the cars, but it's not only the cars, it's the people. And when people get together, these are when things happen. And that's what I think we all enjoy. We all share the passion for this brand. We really enjoy that. But, but Zach, what is the core thing for you when you see your club? Because I, you have the largest club, I think, in the region, right? I'm not sure about that. I think, uh, I think I don't the have solid is. information, but uh, it's one of, uh, we are at least one of the biggest. One of the biggest. At least. That's a that, safe. That's a safe. Yeah. That's a safe. Uh, to be honest, Paul, uh, guys owning a car. Now, not, now I'm not talking about being a member. And but me as an owner, when I see when I see the, the the company, mother company, the officials giving this attention to the event, this is the events that we want. To. We want the official events. We want the the real thing. We want to come and meet the legends. We want here to come and meet uh, uh, our officials, you know, we need to talk to the dealer, not during uh, office hours, but, you know, casual. They, they get the feedback, they get all, I think the, the key of this is that this is official, this is done by the brand, the, the same brand that we all love and have passion for. And I think this is the key, and of course, everybody, when, 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 when those when those brands, uh, when the brand uh, itself does something very uh, community like this, this is this is usually our style of events. It's it's about the community and all of that. But when we see that you know we're on the same page, here is this is where we connect. I would say it's not on the same page. I would change the word and just say that Porsche is one large family, yep. and you are a part of the family. Definitely. So it's, it's great Thank to you have. The family getting together. I think this is something that starts in our company. Starts with Dr. Porsche and the family, all the way down. We're very proud to work for this brand, and we're privileged to work for this brand. I think we all belong to that family, and so it's great to have you here as part of our family and to celebrate with us. We're very proud to be part of this family, this growing family as well. Uh, one last thing, one last topic. I want to speak about uh, We've seen over the past few days an incredible number of classics. Uh, also the communities. Uh, would you say that this year has the, had the biggest growth in terms of classics in the community, in the local communities as least? And, and I would like to also have Zachary as input on that as well. This is more a question for Zachary in the area because I'm not that familiar with the cars in this area. I think in general there's been a focus on people that have more, unfortunately during COVID, people have had more time, so we see that the clubs in general have been growing. Maybe not because they spend more time in their passion and hobby. Here is a wonderful collection of classic cars. Definitely. And the thing that is not just, uh, I think, because uh, we, uh, you know, 
I, I used uh, I used to be executive manager of the Kuwait Car Museum under the management of Mr. Mustafa Muxin, the general manager. Uh, there I learned more about the 356, the 912, the 911. For me, for my generation, it's the 964 and 930. I grew up in the 930, so I know that. But like when we came in to, to drive a car, it was the 993, it was the 964, and, and so on. For us, that's, that's our classic. But nowadays, you see guys owning 356. I think 356, 912, and all of those classics yesterday. That guy is looking for a 911 60s now. He wants it for, for a driver. That came from the confidence of the company. Porsche Classic, 70% of the of the Porsche ever made is still on the road. And you have an amazing collection over there. The Porsche Classic department is providing all of those parts. Yesterday, uh, guys with 997, Zach He's looking for a new uh, uh, entertainment system for his, he's looking for a car. Yeah, and you see it in the shop over there, they have like exactly. a Exactly. That's yeah. the thing. Uh, that's the new confident. And Even that's the toolkit. Definitely. And you, you see the Porsche printed on the Exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And that reflects, by the way, on the prices. Now, yeah. uh, uh, now this is, uh, and this is uh, not a secret, uh, Porsche is one of the one of the re very little car, uh, sport car, uh, sports cars who retain the values so much. Not just I mean, retaining, they're, they're it's, yeah, 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 and, 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 and of course it, it's brown. Yeah. All of that affects uh, affects the brand, affects the image of the brand, gives it more credibility, and all uh, uh, like uh, Mr. Ali Murad always says, Porsche is reliable always. Reliability is one thing, but I think it's also that when you enter the brand and you get to know the brand a little bit better, it's the community that makes a big difference. So these cars have their value, they have the interest because of the community around them. And you are the caretakers of our brand and you are the brand ambassadors for us. So we're very, very proud to have the clubs. It's an honor. Also, just as a, and to, to wrap this session up, it's through a lot of presence. I mean, you're Porsche Club Kuwaiti, there's a lot of clubs around the world that I've said, but you've just had your anniversary, your birthday on the 18th, so I had the pleasure of being able to attend. Thank you. And as a small thank you on behalf of Porsche and Porsche AG and Porsche in Middle East, we'd like to present you with two small gifts. Yeah. Thank you. So this is from the recent program that they've had. Um, thank, you. Thank, you. thank you very much. Thanks. That's, that's a, Oh and my God. God. And also from this, so this is for the public yeah. general, also for all the creators that came to visit us. Yeah. Can I share this moment with that? We can maybe share this at the end of the day. Thank you, please. Please, So thank you very much and congratulations for all of your efforts. It's through the leadership that you've had so many thank years. Thank you. Thank you. You've made this club what it is. So congratulations to the Porsche Club Queen. Thank you very much. Thank you for this is this is amazing. Finally, I'm ready. Yeah.